Today's sponsor of the Vision Quest podcast is 920 Hat Company. Leather patch hats are in, and 920 Hat Company is here to hook you up with your very own custom hat. All patches are lasered on top grade genuine leather and on popular brand hats like Richardson and FlexFit. Whether you're looking to show off your business or want a one-of-a-kind hat for yourself, 920 Hat Company can do it all. All the hats are handcrafted right in the Fox Valley, but worn across America. With over 500 hats in stock, they guarantee fast turnaround times. Honestly, Liam, you know, looking at these hats, solid, right? Yeah, they're pretty, I like them. I like that patch, that patch itself. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, one of a kind stuff. Uh, I know his name is Trevor. Uh, he does great work. He's actually gotten what? I think we got some a knit hat coming. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got that coming. So uh, we're really excited to have these guys on board as a sponsor. So uh, get uh, get down to check them out on Facebook. I believe they're on Instagram. Uh, check them out, man. They got the best hats, I think, in the Fox Valley, if not in the state. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, get down to 920 Hat Company on social media and check them out. All right, everybody. We are here back. I'm on the road. Uh, I'm typically not on the road. So usually I'm in a... You can see walls around me that have padding because it's an old... uh, We had the wrestling room down in the basement for Liam. But anyways, we are here. Special, special guest. We're excited to have him on. Cause man, you blew on the scene. Like you, like as a, as a freshman, you did really well, and then in your sophomore year, it's like you didn't slow down, you know. And it was really cool to see. We have DJ Dean Hamity, uh, DJ whatever you want to be called. Dean is is up there, so I'll call you Dean, man, if that's all right. Yep, that's all good. All right, man, sounds good. So you know, we've had a lot of guys on here. We talked to like Pat Glory, you know. I've talked to Mark Schultz, stuff like that before. I mean, so we. We get into the characters of you guys. We like to figure out and see who you are. You know, we see on the mat, we get to see you compete, and we see on other podcasts talking to guys, but we want to know who Dean is, you know? So we're going to start out, you know, from the beginning, like I said. You know, you grew up in Joliet, Illinois. Is that where you were born and raised with Joliet, Illinois? I was born um, like 20 minutes, 15 minutes away from Joliet. I was born in Oswego, Illinois. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Aurora. I was born in Aurora, I guess. I lived in, like, Oswego, Montgomery, but... So, like, Wayne's World. I moved to Joliet my... Yeah, I moved to Joliet (laughs) my eighth grade year. (laughs) Some of the old dads that listen to this will will relate. They know know Wayne's World well. But, uh... So, well, that's... it. So, it's not, not a small area, but... So, what was it like growing up as a kid? Was it kind of a normal scene, like... You just kind of guys hung out. You had your friends in the neighborhood type thing. How was that like? What was yeah. it like for you? Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty normal. But most of my friends were from like um, my kids' club when I was little. Okay, which so club like is we're that? All very Martinez. Nice. Martinez, okay. Family. All right. There you yeah, go. So Izzy's Izzy's brother and his dad. So like Izzy's style. Like yeah. His brother and his dad. So I wrestled for them. Okay. Since I was like seven. So a lot of my closest friends even now are still from the club when we were little nice so not coming up i mean we'll 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 get more into kind of the competition but surrounded by some decent athletes when it comes to wrestling and and things like that oh yeah you know like you yeah, obviously yeah. we've seen some kids so we have the cheese head that comes up to kakana you know we've seen all mm-hmm. the kids from montini all the way you know in that area so you guys you guys yeah. are coming up with some pretty cool kids to be able to practice with bounce ideas off of so as yeah. a kid was wrestling the first thing, what, where did you kind of start out as, as kind of an athlete? So I started off playing football actually. So I played football okay. for like a year Yep. and one of my, one of my like assistant coaches was like, you should get into wrestling to learn how to tackle better. Nah. No, but, you're good. Um, you're good. You know, I just got a dog and there's another dog in the backyard. <laughs> the dog gets out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog? I let them in occasionally. Uh, boy. Nice, nice. Yeah. What's his name or her name? Reba, like Reba, Reba McIntyre. Sweet. All right, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Keeping the old school alive. Yeah. That's sweet. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but so anyways, you came um, up with football, and your coach said you should do wrestling, and become a better tackler. Yeah, yeah. And then um, after my first season. My dad kind of sat me out. He was like, I know you don't want to do both. Which one do you want to do more <laughs> than wrestling? Like right away, 10 seconds. So I was like, all right, wrestling. I'll do wrestling. Was that and tough? Ever since then. Was that tough trying to balance? No. No? no. You like both? No, I, you could have done both? Just, oh, I just dem- never did both. Oh, like right okay. After football, I just like, right Done. after I started wrestling, I just 
threw football out the window. It's becoming there. pretty common now. Yeah, it's pretty coming coming pretty yeah. common. Just I mean, obviously, as a parent, number one of a, of a wrestler, like if I and Liam didn't do too much double sport time except for when he was real little. I yeah. I would have to tell you the same thing. Like, dude, you gotta you gotta you're getting good at both. You gotta pick one. <laughs> Big yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets tough trying to like go from football season into wrestling. I know like a lot of my high school friends they they try to do that and just like the cardio and stuff. It's right. so hard to kind of balance like football and wrestling cardio is way different. And, like they'd come in behind and then we. Yeah, so yeah. my parents kind of my yeah. parents kind of cut that off right at the beginning. It was like, <laughs> all right, you'll do that. <laughs> And you see a lot too. Want to do, pick one. Yeah, there's still yeah. You, know, you see some freshmen here and there. You know, it's still guys, no matter what. But it's usually the bigger guys that kind of really stick with it. But you can definitely tell yeah. when they come back from football season, they're dying when it comes to wrestling practice. A couple yeah. weeks later, they're getting better. But I can't imagine. But it's still, it's still. We always encourage you know trying to play as much as possible. You know, figuring out what you mm-hmm. want to do. But nowadays, you almost have to specialize. You know, like just to compete especially at a level that you're at, you, you almost have to make that decision of like, yeah, no, no, I, I really got it. Cause I'm not getting any better. I'm taking this time yeah. off. I got to put more time into it. So were you always, or were you always, did you always start out at Izzy or did you kind of start at like a school, like a school wrestling thing first or how did that start? I started, off, I started off with my original club and then I just stayed with them the whole time. Okay. Okay. So that's, so it's oh, even God. more interesting. Cause that, you're kind of, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna go get his dog. (laughs) Wow, good, all good. Everyone's safe, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) The neighbor's dog is pretty old, (laughs) but the other one started running at him. Oh man, (laughs) easy, Reba, easy. So (laughs) yeah, she isn't too big yet. (laughs) How, How old is she? Oh, nice. She's a good looking <laughs> dog, man. That's a good looking yeah, girl right she, there. She, Holy. She's six months. Wow. That's she's only six months old. She's big, dude. Yeah, she's big. Wow. Yeah. That's a, and I, so that's the other thing we kind of did for a while. We bred Labrador retrievers for a while, but we had friends that that had pit bulls and American bulldogs and holy cow, those, some of those dogs are just unreal. So nice, nice looking dog, man. Yeah. That is pretty yeah, cool. Sorry about that. I didn't think he was still out there. He was he's just roaming around my backyard. I all guess. good. Yeah, all good. I've had it where I've taken yeah. bathroom breaks and the guy keeps on talking, man. This is all free flow. This is exactly <laughs> where this is at. It's where this is at. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild. I did not see him. He ran out of the bushes. <laughs> oh, wow. Easy. I didn't think he could move like that. Right? Yeah. They get that last He's spurt like in him. He's old. Yeah. It's like, wow. He just came barreling out of the bushes. Okay. De- definitely probably the most eventful eventful uh, interview. That's for sure. We've had, we, we've had somewhere, we've had a couple where it was guys kind of, uh, I got to go get some coffee. That was with Teague, I think, Fenwick. And, he walked away and got some coffee, and then there's a couple times I had to go take a bathroom break. Another guy kept going. So we just we flow with it here, man. That's exactly oh, yeah. how we do things. A good, good flow. That's good right. Flow. Exactly. It's all positive. <laughs> and like I said, there's we don't need any more pressure in life, right? I mean, this, there's enough no. pressure. Yeah. There's enough pressure. Yeah. So coming up, yeah, coming I up, start, Izzy style. I started off, I started off with uh, Izzy's brother. Yeah. So his his dad and his brother, uh, Nate and Jose. So I started off with them. I uh, stuck with them the whole, like basically the whole time until my eighth grade year because I moved, so it was a little harder for me to yeah. get to the practice. So I went, I went by my high school coaches. Okay, okay. So I mean, like, uh, coming up in that fun. club though, even like starting out, were you ever kind of like, oh man, maybe I should have stuck you know, with football? Like, was there ever no. a moment in your mind? No, no, no. I was always, I was always full, full wrestling from the beginning. That's good. That's good. So that, that cuts us, that cuts the cuts right to the crap then. So when you start out with Izzy and kind of, you know, by obviously grade school, you're kind of doing your kid thing. And what, I mean, did you have like, were you playing like Nintendo cycle? What would you have as a kid growing up for video games? Just Nintendo. This is uh, me talking to like you're 40 years like old or something. I like the Call of Duties. I like the Call of Duties. Yeah. Stuff that I played a lot. Uh, me uh, and my brothers would play like the zombies a lot. Yeah. Uh, I didn't play much video games. I watched a lot of movies. Did you? When I was little. What was so your favorite I've one? I've seen like almost everything. <clears throat> I've seen like 
almost every movie. So <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to pick. It really? Okay. It's okay. Hard for me to pick one. Yeah. That, I, well, uh, I really obviously... like Lone Survivor. Really yeah. like Lone Survivor a lot with Mark Wahlberg. The good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. You get your yeah, your Mark really good. Mark Wahlberg fan. Um. So you yeah. you like action films? Then I take it actions. Actions pretty pretty yeah. big on your list. Yeah. That's probably the most uh, the most like watch John for that I got. Did you get into the John Wick films at all? Yeah. Yeah. Those I've are pretty badass. <laughs> Those are pretty They're good. good. <laughs> They're kind of funny too. They're right, funny. right, exactly. It's just a, it's kind of kind of that dry humor, that dry like murderous humor. It's kind of it's kind of yeah. fun with it. Yeah, it's funny though. <laughs> so what? So coming up with with Izzy, like obviously there's a lot of questions. So you you started out with a great club. I mean, you didn't you definitely didn't go wrong with the club. Where where yeah. was your where was your where was your ability when you first started as far as like in your first couple of years were they trying to get you into the big tournaments to get you used to the big matches things like that I mean what was the flow like with those guys when it came to learning and, and kind of progression so I think I took a year or two just practicing okay and um, I think it was only a year though okay and then the, my second year I didn't do much didn't do much tournaments and then once I hit like ten that's when I really started to kind of ramped it so up a little bit everything yeah like the tulsas and stuff yeah uh, preseason national state all that were so you i think my first two years were kind of laid back just local tournaments and then and, and that, where was, you guys are at i mean you could probably hit some decent tournaments you know and, and obviously still have good oh, competition yeah. you know what i'm saying so you were you weren't coming up as necessarily like just kind of giving an easy ride you were grinding with guys that were definitely at a, at a high oh, level yeah so with yeah. that being said, I mean, where where you're coming, where you're coming into the room, who's who's leaving the room? Who are some of the guys that you got to practice with that oh. you were looking up to? So, like Matt Rubelowski. Okay. In there when I was little. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a lot. There's a lot that I know. So. Yeah. There is a lot. <laughs> there's. It's so. It's like been so long since I've thought about that. Yeah. Um. So like Noah Villarreal used to go to Virginia. Okay. Yep. I, yep. I'm very close with him. Nice. Um. The Lopez brothers. They won Fargo. Yep. Together that one year. Yeah. They were in there when I was there. Okay. Um. Bunch of kids. Yeah. Right? So you're so you're coming up pretty pretty. I mean, I mean, obviously we know the competition, but so where what is your first most like the most memorable? I guess big event that you went to it doesn't even have to be turned, but a big event that you wound up going to and made the most memories. I think the Tulsa, the Tulsa trips for me. Yeah. Cause you know, from, from where I lived, it was like a 10 hour drive and we'd always drive. <laughs> yeah. We never flew. And just like the, <laughs> the memories of sitting in the car with a couple teammates for 10 hours. So doing whatever. And we can totally those relate. Trips, those were pretty memorable. We don't fly anywhere. We fly nowhere. Yeah. Dude. We is super yeah, 32. <laughs> We drove everywhere. Yeah, I drove to Super Thirty Two from Illinois. Uh, kids and Nationals in Utah. I drove to Utah. So, do you think that? Had, and that, so, that's a question. That's a good question. Do you think that had an effect on you instead of flying, driving, or was it something that you were just always used to and it never, you never really I felt think, like good? I think I was used to it. To yeah. be honest with you, like I was once I started flying in college, I was like, wow. This is kind of amazing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Kind of yeah. nice, only an hour instead of 14. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Because we're about to, we're about to uh, drive out to Journeyman. I was looking at plane tickets and renting a car. I was like, I'll suffer the 16 hours. I, will, I would rather yeah. save the money. We'll go there a day early, go check some stuff out, and kind of relax before he yeah. goes and wrestles. So it's like, it's like yeah. almost two like grand. My, my, dad will, my dad will still drive so like this year we had um we had a like a dual yep quad thing with iowa state in yep. florida and he drove to florida from I, illinois i i ride with him i would definitely ride with him not yeah. a problem and then they they drove to like tulsa for nationals and yeah they drove michigan michigan's easy but yeah <laughs> they've, they've gone for the far ones yeah last we- year they went to big tens for nebraska it was like 10 hours Nice, nice. Yeah, we would have. We sent Liam to Estonia. We would have driven to Estonia if we could, but there's an ocean in the way, yeah. so we didn't drive there. <laughs> yeah. But that's exactly we're the Start same way. Fast yeah, we're not fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so you're coming up in a great club, and there's no question you're getting great training. There's no question you're probably progressing. 
just like everybody that we kind of know and talk to is as far as like knowing the sport. So what, what were some of the tougher challenges that you did have coming up before high school, like middle school? Like, were you, were you having a hard time just kind of like, was it a mental thing that you were having? Like, how were you, how was growth for you? Was it just easy or, or, or was it something think, you always had to work at? I think the mental edge was a big one for me, yeah. especially when I was young, you know, like I, I get all the pre-match nerves and everything. I'd, look at opponent's matches before and really yeah. like harp on it and really dive deep into like what I had to do. But as I like got older with that, I never really look anymore. It was always just, now I like to stay relaxed and looking back, I was like, why did I do all that? Like even <laughs> early years in high school, yeah. I was like super nervous about everything. And now it's like, not nervous about a single thing. So did you, did it's you find like the, the nervousness being like a roadblock on the mat, you know, kind of, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sometimes, do this. Yeah. Sometimes, but I think it was just like the pre-match nerves kind of just like excitement, but like yeah. also a little nervous. And then like, I'd be warming up for like 45 minutes before my matches when okay. I was little. And I was like, yeah. don't need to do that. Yeah. Like yeah. Well, and you find your groove too. I mean, that's kind of why it's, it's always a tricky question to, you know, how did you progress or whatever? When you're, you're a kid, you're always yeah. progressing. You know, it's you're always getting mm-hmm. trying to get better at something and trying to figure a way out of, you know, out of something or to do something. So it's always hard to ask that question when, when you're young. But when you kind of look at your, you know, especially the stance where you're at now, your sophomore year was great. I mean, it, 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 I looked at even the, just even with the, the losses that were taken, they were tough opponents and they were close yeah. matches. So, like, I it, it, as an athlete myself, like that would work on me if I didn't know what I was doing, like, oh man, I'm not doing it. But you're beating, you know, you're beating really, really good guys, having really good close matches with tough guys. I mean, Alex, Alex Marinelli was a two point match. Like, dude, yeah. you know, that's, that's good. It, you know, I'm, I, so it's mm-hmm. nothing to slouch at, but when you, as coming up as a kid, what were some of the, what were some of the, I guess the, the, the bigger hurdles that you found yourself Get, having to get over was it was it just kind of something like a you know i can't get this shot or this guy's always been tough i can't beat him was it just kind of your basic yeah. kind of kid stuff yeah pretty basic for me so like when i was a little like people getting into my legs was a really big i just let people shoot on my legs i'd like to scramble so gotcha, gotcha. i'd literally be standing straight up and just let <laughs> i'd let people shoot on me and then when i got to high school i was like oh i can't do that anymore right? they're stronger than me i'm, I'm small <laughs> like but um I think that one was a pretty big one. Mm-hmm. Um, top, maybe. I never, yeah. like, I never worked on top. Like, yeah. Even in high school, I just caught everyone, and I like to get takedowns. <laughs> get so. takedowns, yeah. I see guys yeah, doing that. Top wrestling, and I think just defense wise, like I didn't really try too hard to defend my legs. Sure. What was your first weight you wrestled in high school? One hundred six. Oh, okay. All right. So that's, I was kind of yeah. thinking it was gonna, obviously a little bit lighter, but I was thinking that light, but so one Oh six, you started your freshman year in high school. How do, how was your freshman year? It was good. I won, I won state. I lost, I think four times. It was all national opponents too. I lost at Cheesehead three times, I think. <laughs> Who'd you and lose then, to at Cheesehead? That's my hometown, man. Who'd you lose to? Uh, Colin Shriver. Oh, really? <laughs> Jake, Jake Rundell. Yeah. Jake Rundell and then nine main Vasquez. Okay. Vasquez. Okay. Yeah. And all three D1. Though. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, so still you're in, 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 this is kind of, kind of one of those conundrums where you think, okay, well this guy's, you know, he, he's doing really well, but I mean, there's still things you work on, you know, that's not like the, all this stuff always comes easy. There's, you know, we talked about some of the mental roadblocks and plus just trying to learn how to, you know, especially in high school, get out from the bottom, you know, things like that. And, yeah. and trying to become more efficient because you're already good, right? I mean, you're already having success. It's just becoming more efficient. How do you dial that in, man? Like, how do you, especially as a high schooler, just trying to figure out puberty and, and going through, you know, yeah. you know, childhood, things like that. And then you're trying to r- wind your way through the intricacies of wrestling. So what, obviously mm. you had a great coaching staff. You had really good guys behind you as coaches. Was that really what fed you? Like your, just your coaches and your support system and getting you, getting you through the times that you need to get through. Yeah. I think it was just that and maturing a little bit, Yeah, you know, like in high, like um, when I went to high school, I just, kind of wrestled the wrestle yeah just didn't really think about it i just go out there and just 
do whatever I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> just roll around. And, but I think as I got older, it was kind of more like dialing in like a certain game plan. Yeah. For, like what I really wanted to, to do in my matches. So mm-hmm. like, especially my junior, my junior and senior years of high school, I really kind of took a step back and thought about everything instead of just going out there and throwing everything I had. Yeah. Put some there. perspective into it and trying to figure out what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. So was that was that part of part of a climb? I mean, was that so? Talk about your your sophomore year a little bit, as far as uh, you know. You you said you had some you know tough matches. You had some tough matches at Cheese had. What were some of the memorable moments from your sophomore year? Um, Cheese had was a good one again. Yeah, I wrestled Anthony Moulton. Okay, I wrestled Anthony Moulton. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And that was the second time wrestling that year. I lost, but you know, tough That's match. Tough again. match, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's had so long too. It's like I wrestled twelve million matches in a day. <laughs> so you know, by the end of the tournament, I was a little tired. Yeah, uh, but you know, tough matches are always fun. Yep. You know, me and Anthony had two good matches that year. I think that's probably the most memorable. Um, state, I beat a kid that I lost to the year previous. So that was good. Monkeys too. off the back, man. That's what we talk about all the time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting monkeys off your back. So those are yeah, nice that to have. Was a good one. Uh but sophomore year it was, it was a little similar to freshman year. I had the same amount of wins and the same amount of losses. Okay. Like okay. Freshman, freshman year. All right. Yeah. But it was they're pretty good. Pretty good. I think I learned a little more maybe yeah. in my sophomore year. But what weight yeah, were you at your sophomore? Kind of one twenty six. Okay. Wow, okay. A little bit of a spike. A little bit of growth spurt. Yep, so yep. were were you short two at one oh six and then you kinda blew up? Yeah, I was short at one oh six. I was like five right. four. Oh okay. five three. All right, yeah, you were yeah. a little guy, just just barely starting to just starting to sprout. Yeah. So Yeah, you, sophomore year I was probably like five six. <laughs> oh really? Five, yeah, well there's yeah. that twenty pounds, ten pounds an inch, man. So yeah. so you, you wind up you go one twenty six, so you're coming into your junior year where you're starting to probably like you said, you started to dial things in a little bit more. Uh, obviously mm-hmm. it's a mental side because you're already you're having technical, you know, success. So you're doing all right. So you just had to dial yeah. some things in. So it's a mental side. But what do you do with that? How do you how do you how do you look back and say this is one thing that I did? I gotta stop doing that. Like I gotta stop worrying about this and laser focus or how did you what were you telling yourself? Uh so my junior was I was really big on getting stronger, right? Okay. So I was I was always small guy and smaller weight, so I was I didn't really think too much technically my junior year. I thought about getting bigger physically. Yeah. So I wrestled one fifty two my junior year. Whew, all uh, right. <laughs> got got a little bigger. Yeah. Um a little little stronger technically too. Just really small areas at that point. Just yeah. Fixing like my single leg, my snap down, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to master that type of stuff. And my senior my junior was the only year I went undefeated. Really? Okay. But my senior year got canceled, so that's that's right. Then there's that the yeah. whole c word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so got canceled. So with that being said, did the, and I don't know what Illinois did. I know around Wisconsin we were trying to do as much as possible to keep kids kind of wrestling and doing little mask. things. Yeah, 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 whatever they could. And obviously the kids hated it, but it was like, yeah, we're getting you matches, man. Just, just hold on, it's going to end. What mm-hmm. were you guys doing in Illinois at the time? Since especially nothing, this, nothing. Nothing. You guys were on lockdown. So we started school in August. Yeah. Um, I didn't step foot in my high school until March. Oh my god. Or I went. I think I went for a week, and then they got canceled again until March. Was is he trying to do practices with you guys like outside and stuff at the club and things like we, that? We, uh, I worked out on my own. For, Did you? Like all of my senior year. Oh, yeah. Man, that sucks. That sucks. There's and then, a couple and stories then we I've heard. had a month season. Yeah. We had a month season after school ended. So it was like I did three duels. Or I think it was like maybe five matches in a month. And then I moved up here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So being that you missed that, especially not having that senior year, how did how did the whole recruiting process go for you? I mean, you obviously have something to show for it. Your junior year was really good. How were how were how were they? I committed my junior year. You did okay, okay. I committed my I committed November of my junior year. Okay, you had decided. So, what was that like then? That whole process for you starting was that starting your sophomore year? Then I take it. Uh, I think it was my junior summer. Okay, ish. 
Yeah. I think because it was still the rule where like you couldn't talk to. It was the end of your sophomore year, like June 15th or 16th or whatever. So did that start right away for you? Something like that. Yeah. For for the most part. I mean, after my junior was a little, or like at the beginning of my junior was a little more with like the national tournaments and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I went on my visits. I went on my, I went on two visits, Illinois here, and then I canceled the rest of them. I can't feel the rest of them after this one. <laughs> okay, let's talk about that for a second. So you're you're pretty ready to just commit. You're like Wisconsin, bam. So yeah. what? Let's let's weigh the scales here. Illinois, not a bad program. You know, they get good coaches, got a good round of guys that are there, especially coaches that were coming in at the time as well, and and you know, fresh faces. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Bono and Reader were pretty new, you know, to the Wisconsin thing. But as yeah. far as the the what what drew it? What was the what was the appeal to you? I wanted uh so like my visits were to find a place that felt like home that I could live there and yeah. like not feel homesick to go back. Yep, and. You know, with Wisconsin, I'm, I am very close to home. Like, I drove home today. Yeah. And uh, it was, like, two hours. So, <laughs> very easy drive for me. Yeah. Um, and I wanted – so, like, when I came in, everyone was very, very uh, open-armed with me. Yeah. So right away. They, like, were very friendly, very helpful with any questions I had to ask okay. yep. or I had to ask. And um, I also like that my, my family can come up here and watch – every home duel if they want it yeah. or if they're available. So just that, the atmosphere, you know, readers, very, very motivational <laughs> he is. all the time, 24 <laughs> seven. He's just, he's always very motivational. You know, that's the type of energy that I was looking for. And okay. Right after, right after my visit, I committed. That makes complete sense. So that's kind of what I've always thought was like, and is I don't know Bono enough to not, you know, to say, you know, he's not the dude, but, just talking to reader and being the, at the events with those guys, Bono's very, Hey, how's it going? Cause he's got something going on. Whereas reader readers right there slapping your back and like gripping your shoulder. Like what's up dude. And it's like, Holy <laughs> shit. You are intense, man. Holy. That's Just good. A, that's a good. All of motivational energy. All the time. He is awesome. every time. So and like, I almost need to so go to the cool. chiropractor after he grabs my shoulder and just, <laughs> just like, how's it going, he's man? Strong. It's like, oh. he's so strong. Right. Your shoulder falls off. Yeah. Like, oh, dude. You just tore my labrum. Thanks, yeah. John. Appreciate yeah. that. Both of them gone. So great energy, great energy going into that room. Yeah. And so were you able to, when you took your visits, were you able to practice? Did you go in the Illinois room and practice with those guys or had uh, you kind of, I don't think I practiced at all. No. Okay. I think I just went and just visited. I didn't, I didn't think I worked out at all. Okay. What, uh, what yeah. kind of, what kind of education are you looking to, to finish with at UW? Have you decided I'm yet? doing health promotion, and health equity. Nice. Health equity. I just start I just started it. Yeah. Yeah. I just started it like uh this year. I just declared. So okay. I've only like two classes in. Nice. So so d- it's pretty des- broad. Describe I was gonna say describe health equity to me. What what does this mean? Yeah. Uh it's just looking out for like health goals and stuff. Okay. Uh, like and then but there's like five different departments in it. So like kinesiology is part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh like psychology is part of it like okay health, that stuff and then just a bunch of other things like i could do like 20 different things if i wanted to okay nice so, nice very cool it keeps you tied yeah. to wrestling too right yep even yep. better <laughs> even <laughs> better <laughs> so yeah. so when you you decide to go to wisconsin you're pumped you love the energy when what was your first practice experience with those guys how'd that how was that it was tough was it? It was tough. If I if I remember, it. no. So when I came, I wrestled um, Shane Gantz right away. Oh yeah, on my birthday. Yeah, like the week after I moved, <laughs> I wrestled Shane Gantz. How'd that at go? The, like RTC event. Yeah, I think I won like twelve two or something, or I won like twelve five. Okay, okay. Something around. I don't really remember. On my 18th birthday, I wrestled him. <laughs> You're just like, all right, here we go. All right, let's let's get yeah. this going, man. Like, okay, first first college match. I just turned eighteen, <laughs> just graduated. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. Did you graduate early from high school? Was there a like? No. Did they cut it off? Because I mean, you didn't have your whole high school like season. But yeah, what did, we didn't have finals or anything. Nothing. They just handed out diplomas. Like, good job. We had, yeah, we had final <laughs> assignments. So like, okay, 
Okay. Uh, oh, weird. We had to do like a video project and stuff. Yeah. I'm it sorry. Was, it was weird. I'm sorry. I graduated online. That's... No, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's all good. Me. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, it's fine with me. It's all good. It's fine. I don't have to go to the classroom. Yeah. I'm good. So yeah. you you went from 106 to 126 to 152. It going into college 170. is one, one, 170? I went 70 my senior year for like the, the week season. The week season? <laughs> the one week season. So I went 170. was that a COVID 170, I take it? That was a... A heavy COVID one seventy. Uh, no, that was a. I was one sixty five. I just didn't want to go one sixty, so I went one seventy. <laughs> I was like, I'm not cutting to one sixty for five matches. So, so that's okay. I'm let's talk about that too, because I saw in an interview that you talked about your your weight. Like you were wrestling. You don't cut a lot of weight. You you wrestle nat- no. El Natural. So I used to get yelled at and like ridiculed for having Liam do that. They're like, dude, you got to cut. Yeah. You got to cut him. I'm like, no. why? What I I stopped cutting my sophomore year of high school. Did you? Yeah, that's when I started to try to get big, but yeah, one hundred six was kind of tough for me. You know, I mean, that was a stretch. I was pretty, I was pretty like long and lengthy still. Yeah, still had the same build, just a little shorter. Sure, sure, yeah. Well, you said like what five four, five five at that point too. Like yeah, that's yeah, super short. Because now so, you're like yeah. huge. Yeah. No, you look yeah, up here. Nah, six, six, six <laughs> right. Well, it, again, it's the growth period. It's it's, it's why it, it's kind of hard to kind of sit there and, and justify like, well, you could you have done this and could you have done this as like kids? You know, what I mean, you don't know yeah. what you're going to do until you get out of it. So, so you got a lot of energy in the room. You find out that you're proven that you can actually you can hang with some college dudes because Shane Gantz, no slouch, dude. You know, he does does pretty good with Parkside. Yeah. So you coming in yeah, and handling that? Yeah, it's like that's yeah, good. Pretty good. So. That was your first experience, and how has it been ever since? Has it been uh, your co-captain in 2023? I mean, is that team really starting to solidify? You guys feeling stronger every year? Yeah, yeah. You know, we make small improvements, but I like to say that small improvements make mm-hmm. big consequences. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, just just making the small leaps every day. You know, this summer cycle has been probably the best I've, I've been with, yeah. or, or the best cycle that I've had with this team for last couple of years so yeah i'm feel real confident with our team and you know we're gonna work hard I mean, we're gonna have gritty matches every yeah. time yeah yeah for sure how our style is but but you know we're going out there and we're giving our full effort which is what our coaches preach yep that's right i that's the only thing you know liam's 165 is a sophomore in high school and that's the only thing I, you guys are beyond a point so i played soccer for a long time but i didn't wrestle for a long time and he got to a certain point where I'm like, I don't, the technicalities you handle with your coach, I just expect 110%. That's all yeah. I can ask for. The rest is really up to you yeah, guys and how sure. bad you want it, you know? And we, we as parents, mm-hmm. we don't have that conversation in the car that's like two hours long anymore. But we have the, yeah. we have the, I, you know, I watched in that match and it sure looked like you were hanging your head or it sure looked like you were, mm-hmm. you know, your body language wasn't spelling out what I like, you know? And that's really all yeah. we talk about because that's all we can really talk about. You guys are well, well beyond yeah. technicality and levels. So that's where it's fun to watch you guys as far as wrestling and each year just talking to Barnett when I had him on. I mean, I watched him at Hortonville and then watching him from Hortonville going to college. I thought he was going to have a really hard time going to college. I really did because he's a defensive wrestler when he came out of high school. And, yeah. But then watching how you guys have all grown in that room piece by piece, mm-hmm. like he gets out of the bottom like that now. Like it was, yeah. it's like that. Right and away. In the beginning, it wasn't like that. So noticing you, especially coming from your freshman year, and then transitioning into that sophomore year, it was pretty. You know, it was nice to watch and Big Ten champ. You yeah. know, stuff like that. I mean, that shit feels good, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that yeah, that shows sure. that there's capabilities and that you guys are really doing yeah. something. So you talked yeah. about doing U twenties. Obviously, you, you it was something that you didn't do, right? Correct this year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so what was I, the decision behind that? So I was very, so I'm a true junior, right? So yeah. if I don't take a red shirt, I'm done in two years. Yep. So um, I really like, so my goal while I'm here is to win nationals, obviously, to yep. be a national champion. So yep. I think that was just my main thing. You know, like I know that my, that my mistakes and my matches are so small because the score is always so close. Right, right. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to tune in and like lock in on folk style for my last two years. Cause I'll be 21 when I graduate. Like I'll have, yeah. if I don't take a red shirt, I'll be 21, 22. 
Yeah, one of and the I'll younger wrestlers so to graduate. Long. <laughs> yeah, I have so long to do freestyle. And, yeah. you know, I can I'll adapt to that pretty fast. It's, it's never been a challenge to adapt to freestyle. So, so, so I think it was just that these these last two years, I really wanted to just accomplish that that goal. Yeah. Well, I mean, times. and you're, you're doing better every time. I mean, there's the, the progress is there. You can see it in the numbers. The numbers don't lie. So it's, yeah, it, it's almost like a deja vu, you know, now you're junior year of college mm-hmm. and you're like, nope, I need to zero in on stuff. And yeah, I had an interview. Yeah. I talked to a guy named Lucas Stelt. He's more a Greco guy, but he talks about how like far mm-hmm. behind we are is, you know, when the RTCs are great because we got to have them to keep these guys fresh for, you know, trying to make world teams and things like that. But sometimes the guys have those goals forever. Whereas you have a goal of a national championship, you know, and that's yeah. when you're going to college, it's different. You know, when you're going to college, it's, mm-hmm. you do have your goals, but your goals are also aligned with your team. So I, I get it. Yeah. I totally understand where a lot of that mentality comes from. Whereas someone else wants to jump off and just do RTC things, jump off and do RTC things. If that's, Mm-hmm. quite frankly if you're not making the lineup why not you know that's to me that's yeah. the best work to put in is go get that competition like that but with that being said i was not a high level wrestler like you guys are so i can't exactly put my stamp on that but it just seems like it would make sense to do that kind of thing so what are your goals coming up you obviously have national championships you, you got ncaa's yeah. that, you're, that you're thinking about um are you just kind of training right now you're getting things ready for the upcoming season and do, doing yeah. camps you got any yeah. camps going on what are you doing i'm doing lamont's camp this week in utah oh nice Thursday. yeah and wow. then i'm doing one back home uh at the end of the month and then i'm, then I'm done are you driving so, out to utah left. no <laughs> <laughs> not again not again <laughs> can't do that again oh. that was a once in a lifetime thing <laughs> For me. We drove out that to Vegas. I think that's the last time we're doing that too. That it was, was just so too much. Far. It was so far. I couldn't do it. <laughs> we so prepped when we prepped. We made sure we drove through Nebraska in the middle of the night. Made sure because that yeah. is one drive I do not want to visualize at all. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> at <laughs> all. To the left corn, right yeah. corn. Yeah. Oh, rocks. Maybe see some beans. Yeah. Maybe see some beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. So, what's this rumor about you spending thirty grand on shoes? Where? What? What? Oh, I, I had to. I had to tweak my number a little bit. That was just like right off the head. I was like, <laughs> how many pairs of shoes do I have? I was like, I have like hundreds of pairs of shoes. I yeah. Was like, uh, whatever, thirty. I'd probably say 10. 10? Wow. 10, 15, though. Still a lot. Just, but, like, yeah. But I think just from uh, 12 years. And I yeah. liked wrestling shoes a lot, so I just bought however many. I right. <laughs> Did the yeah, hat thing? I know. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I'd be that. like, Mom, I need these ones. And then a couple weeks later, I'd be like, Mom, these <laughs> new ones I need, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is like talking to my kid this is exactly like talking to liam dad did you see these those are the they're the new asics yeah. like they're the new old no, asics my, my brother's just continuing it for me so he has he has like for the same size too so i went home and did a couple workouts with him i was like wow these are some cool ones too. I, have, I have these ones now and like he takes my shoes when he comes up and it's just See, that's the problem is my oldest son doesn't live at home. So now Liam's taking my stuff. He's taking my Adidas <laughs> sandals. He's taking my swimming trunks. It all fits yeah. him now. And it's like, come on, man. I got to get another guy. Either that or he needs to get out of my house. One of the two. He needs to get out. <laughs> he needs to get out. Yeah, my, my brothers take all my shirts and stuff. Dude, it's all right. Right on. Okay. So you got, you got a camp coming up in Utah. Then you're coming back. What was the other one? The other one you said you were doing? I'm going to do one at my high school at nice. the end of the week, okay. at the end of the month, uh, August 26th. Okay, nice. Um, yeah. You got any plugs you want to put in, man? We're running to the end here. You got anything you want to plug? Uh, not really. No? Um, just Combat? Watch, watch Wisconsin Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> watch it. Watch it, man. Watch it. Well, watch it. Watch it. For, watch it now. And watch it forever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are you wrestling? Are you wrestling 182 this year? Is that where you're going? 182? Uh, heavyweight, probably. Heavyweight. That's, I mean, hey, if you yeah. can move, why not? You know? <laughs> yeah. No, 165. 165. Okay. All right. So, what do your, what do you have? Uh, um, what do you guys know what your first duel is? They put that out yet? I don't know what the first one is. We have our big 10 schedule. 
Do you? Okay. It's out on Instagram and everything. So, what are your thoughts on the whole Big Ten thing? With that was that Oregon joining and USC joining a Big Ten? Oh, they're joining up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they think I think they joined my last year. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh. it's not really much of a change. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought yeah, <laughs> only two years or only my last year. Yeah, still be there. But that's okay. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. But um, yeah, it's kind of yeah. interesting just to see what now we're trying to just like glob everybody together and just yeah. make it one division. Then if you're I think it's cool. Way. I think it's cool. It's it's weird. To, so like, I mean, you, you think yeah. of Big Ten, you think of Midwest, you know, Midwest. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. that kind of thing. And I'm not. I, uh, yeah, and I don't want to not include, but at the same time, it's like. It's not the Midwest, man. Like this is a whole division yeah. in its own that just has owned certain mm-hmm. like high level just smash and grab sports and yeah. is what it is. It's it's growth. We'll see where it takes us. We'll see what happens. It's kinda like high school. It'll be it'll be it'll be cool to see where where it leads to though. Yeah, for sure. I for think. sure. I think there's, I don't think there's much bad that can happen with it. More competition, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And, well, and, you know, and yeah. honestly, some of those guys be able to have them in a, in a conference duel and you just be able to wrestle the guys one time, get a feel for it before you hit a national championship. Yeah. You know, that's not such that's a bad feel. Too. You know, not a bad feel. Yeah. But I, I'm sure everybody has their opinions on it, just like they have with weight loss and stuff like that. But uh, so yeah. you, so you're not cutting for this weight anymore either. Yet you're still, you're still riding it out. I mean, you might have to like cut five, ten. I mean, I'm a little that. bigger. Yeah, I'm a little bigger, but that's just summer. That's natural. Summer yep. Yeah. Yep. Just right on. Just from lifting and not like not really watching what I not. I mean, I watch what I eat, but not really watching it like super disciplined. Yeah. Okay. But so you're, that's just from. Summer. You're not just like a hard boiled egg and celery guy for the day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, okay, that's good. That's good. All right. So at least you're doing it right. You figure it out and things yeah. like that. But so how is the how is the RTC coming along? I know you guys have been uh you've had some events so far, I think, over the summer. Yeah. How, how has that worked out for you guys? I, I'm kind of curious because it's it's hard to tell what's going on. They have the practices and yeah. I see the the posts about the practices, but do you guys have like an RTC team that you guys plan on doing things like going to certain tournaments for, or, or how uh, is that working? I don't know for sure with that. I mean, I like, I love the RTC. I think it's cool for, yeah. for kids yep. to be able to come in and train with uh, some of our wrestlers that they may look up to that have been watching during the year. You know, yeah. Just from like a experience standpoint, like just going in and being able to train with some of the guys that's fun for a high schooler. Cause yeah. I know like when I was young, I, I would love to do that. Right. So right. just to having that, that resource is always awesome for anything like technique wise, advice wise. Yep. But for like the competitions, I don't, I don't really know too much Okay. about that, but um, okay. yeah. I just think, I think it's cool. I think it's a cool experience for high schoolers. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. We got to get Liam down there eventually. It's just uh, other practices and things like that. That I mean, because he goes to Askren. So it's like he's uh, yeah. at like two times a day sometimes, especially in the summer, but six mm-hmm. days a week. And it's crazy. It's just it, I think about the sports that I was in. You guys definitely have opportunities galore. And that's why it's so fun to see, yeah. the, especially the guys like you that are taking advantage of those opportunities. And you see the progress and you see how much they get better each year. Because I think everybody, you see these anomalies that come out, and everybody has this balance in their head that, like, how come this guy's not like that? Well, because he's not the same fucking dude. Like, he's not that guy, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, everyone can be different. Exactly. In not two of the exact same uh, styles, exact same body type, you know? Yep. It's, there could be a slight difference that makes a whole lot of a difference, you know what I mean? 100%. 100%, so it's, man. It's fun to watch. It's fun to watch. That's why it's fun to watch every single time. Cause yep. It's, it's a different match. Even if they're two of the same guys wrestle again, it's a yep. different match. For sure. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna start some music up here, man. I'm gonna We're going to end this episode a little bit here, and I'm going to talk to you for just a minute once we're done here. I kind of do that with everyone. Okay. Just kind of talk about some stuff. But, hey, everybody, I, if you didn't understand who I was talking to, it's it's Dean Amity, man. Amity. Not Hamidi. Hamidi. Okay, guys? Hamidi. So, remember remember 165 from the Badgers. Start paying attention this year, because if you thought it was good last year, it's only going to get better. It is going to get better. So, I appreciate you being on, man. I appreciate you taking the time. We'll talk for just a minute once we're done, but uh, we're going to let everybody go, because we are out. Peace. 
All of our episodes are brought to you by Appleton Tattoo, located at 117 South Appleton Street in Appleton, Wisconsin, right off the main drag on College Avenue. You can't miss them. I've had some work done. Uh, I have a Celtic cross that covers my back that was done by Jason. We're not done yet. Uh, Jason Winans and crew, uh, the artists that he have there, those guys are the best in the Fox Valley. Um, they are definitely one to go to if it's something that you've just been kind of throwing around. They'll make you feel comfortable. It's a very clean environment. Very nice crew um, and very willing to get done whatever you need done when you need it done. Um, you can message them on Facebook. I know they're on Facebook. You can give them a call uh, at 920-604-8289 and get in touch with Jason Winans and crew at Appleton Tattoo, located again in Appleton, Wisconsin at 117 South Appleton Street, right in Appleton. Very flexible hours, great crew, clean environment again. Uh, I would not send you anywhere else except for these guys. Appleton Tattoo.